This is video of a historic 24 person prisoner swap playing out today in Turkey. The swap involved seven nations with the US, Germany, Slovenia, Norway and Poland releasing eight imprisoned Russians. In return, Russia released 12 German nationals and four Americans. Among them, Bowdoin College graduate and Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich. Gershkovich was first arrested by Russian authorities in March of last year. Tonight, his family and those who knew him are breathing a sigh of relief. News Center Maine's Donovan Lynch joins us live from the newsroom with more. Donovan. Yeah, Zach, Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich was held in Russia for more than a year. Earlier this summer, he was convicted in a trial widely viewed in the West as a sham. But in all this time, the story of Evan Gershkovich was kept alive at his alma mater, Bowdoin College, where those who knew him spoke of his bravery and his generous spirit. Now he's free in a remarkable act of international diplomacy. Um, today was a very good day. It was a day unlike many in history, a prisoner swap involving 24 people and seven countries. The deal freed four Americans wrongfully detained in Russia. That group includes former Marine Paul Whalen and Evan Gershkovich, a Wall Street Journal reporter and graduate of Bowdoin College. On campus Thursday, faculty members who knew Evan, like Henry Lawrence, celebrated the news. We're feeling you know, a collective sense of release and joy that he's been released. It, it's, we're like a family here. Donning a free Evan hat, Lawrence is one of many Bowdoin professors who remembers Gershkovich as a student whose sharp intellect was met by a good humored nature and a deep care for others. Brock Clark had Gershkovich in his creative writing class. Always asking for advice. Um, Always really good at listening to what other people have to say, even if it's perfect nonsense. Now a relief is shared by Evan's mentors in Brunswick, as well as the leaders of the state he once lived in. Senator Angus King said he was ecstatic about the American prisoners coming home. Senator Collins called Evan Gershkovich and Paul Whelan examples of strength and resilience in the face of Putin's brutal regime. President Biden, who played the leading role in the swap, marked a diplomatic triumph for the United States. Their brutal ordeal is over and they're free. Still, with the euphoria of the release comes an acknowledgement of hardship from those who knew Gershkovich. In the joy that we're feeling, we have to remember that it's been a really tough experience for him. But for now, freedom is at the forefront. And of course, there are two sides to this prisoner swap. The U.S. and other Western allies returned eight prisoners back to Russia. They include a hitman and several cyber criminals. But Zach, on the American end, the White House says President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris will greet the freed Americans in just minutes at around 1130. All right, Donovan Lynch live in the newsroom tonight. Thank you.